Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today is another Tales of 69 Minute Speed Paint. We are doing day 28. Maybe you could notice this is an old stream. This, this was originally done or streamed on July 5, 2015. So it was a year ago already. And the theme for this was fireworks. So the character we are working on is Vague Longberg from Tales of Rebirth. If you don't know about Tales of Rebirth or Vague, I'm not surprised. I wasn't either until I found his character on the wiki. And that's because Tales of Rebirth was never released in internationally. It was a Japan only release and no one really got to play it except the Japanese people. Which is sad. You can, you can never really play all the Tales games because not all of them were released. Anyway, how did I end up with Vague and this team? Pretty much random. I was looking through the wiki, looking for characters that weren't famous or well drawn already. So I was avoiding characters like Yuri, Lloyd, Luke, um, Leon. So I was, I was avoiding those characters because we have enough art already. And I just happened to chance upon Tales of Rebirth. And I saw the protagonists and the main characters. I saw Vague. He seemed like a cool dude. So. I just wanted to draw him. If you got the reference for Vague, good for you. Because uh, since I have to explain it, I will. Uh, Vague's main element or power is ice. Unlike our usual modern tales of protagonists, their main element is usually lightning. So, for example, Stray from Zestiria, his um, special art or his high Olgi is a lightning Ogi. Luke from Abyss is the same. I'm not sure about Jude and Mila. Huh, what are their elements? Do they have one? Not sure. So Big has an ice force element thing going on for him and he's supposed to be this silent mysterious protagonist that's a little bit deadpan and the only thing I do know about him is that he screams Claire a lot because Claire keeps on getting kidnapped and shit and it's a driving force in the game even though the game seems to be a lot more deeper than saving Claire so I actually just really like his character design and he seemed a bit more he says he looked different from our usual protagonist so I went with him so let's talk about Rebirth a little bit since there's really not much information about it. So I'm reading off the Asaya wiki. This is the official, not really... It's your official, unofficial source for anything and everything Tales. So Tales of Rebirth is the sixth main title in the Tales of series. It was originally released on PlayStation 2, so it's an old game. And then it was ported to Portable. Unfortunately, it never really saw an international release, so even if they did port over to Portable, only the Japanese people could still play it. So its main tagline is Where You'll Be Reborn RPG. So if you're not familiar or if you're kinda new and haven't read everything on the wiki yet, um, the, the mothership titles all have a certain theme to it. So for example, Rebirth is Where You'll Be Reborn RPG. Celia was... Uh, Celia 2 was um, a choice between the world and a girl, I think, or something like that. Abyss was meaning of birth. Zestiria was um, something about passion and conviction. Actually, let's just go to the page because let's look at Zestiria. Zestiria's tagline was RPG of passion that eliminates the world. Oh, that's so perfect for it. Uh, Celia 1 was. Um, RPG of Unmaving Convictions, Celia 2 was Celia 2 was Choices That Spin the Future. Ah, uh, okay. I was, uh, was kind of off. I wonder if Berseria has one already. Let's check. Berseria has RPG of discover Discovering Your Own Reasons to Live. Hmm. You know, it's interesting because since Berseria and Zestiria are connected, with Berseria being sort of a prologue, um, just in the theme alone, uh, RPG of passion that illuminates the world. 
Zisteria has this very to, uh, going out to everyone, saving everyone feel to it. Well, Berseria, as we have seen a little bit so far, because as of recording, it hasn't been released in the, internationally. It's next year. And it's only been released in Japan a few days ago. So, um, discovering reasons for your own reasons to live was very self-centric. So I feel like there's going to be a bit more character development to Berseria than Zisteria. if I make a series of all the tales of games and then making the theme of the piece being their game themes because they're actually pretty interesting. Like Fantasia is legendary RPG and embellished with voices. Pretty cool. <music> Distracted from the drawing. Oh, I'm, that's right. Uh, Abyssus was discovering the meaning of life, so I just got confused with meaning of birth is the opening song, I think, by Bump of Chicken. Because that's, that's the only actual, actual info I could provide regarding rebirth since no one's played it. There doesn't seem to be a lot of fans. I've seen some fan art of Big and the cast, but not a lot since it wasn't really released so it never really gained international um it, it never really gained an international fan base i think so back to talking about the piece um the way that i'm coloring this i already had the light source in mind so it was a little bit more put together i would say so like the coloring of the clothes is very similar to how I would color clothes now. In the in the way that I didn't really blend it out as much as in the first few pieces. And I believe this is where I started to develop the current style. Because I learned that it really looked good when the shadows weren't so soft and blended in. Vegas, the first, or if not only, the only, I think he's the only main Tales of Protag that is deadpan and mysterious because everyone else has a lot of personality to them. Even Mila, who was very uh, regal, is still very quirky. So I believe Vegas is the only one that seems to be a little flat. I'm sure he's not as flat as we believe he is, but again, there's not much info on him given that his game was just Japanese only so I hope Bamco decides to release Rebirth uh, internationally also maybe Chohaten has a Steam free game like they did with Zisteria and Symphonia that would be fun So here I'm adding some yellow highlights. So it's very glowy, it's very bright. It has harder lights and harder shadows on my usual pieces since I did know where the light source is coming from and the background isn't something I just kinda chucked in there. So it was more well put together than my other pieces. And I tried to do the same for a lot of the other joints later on. Trying to be put together and knowing where the light sources are and knowing what the mood of the piece is beforehand because I have a tendency to just draw and kind of set everything into place as I go but it doesn't always really turn out for the better for me since for example the background would look too flat or the lighting wouldn't match the character or at a lot of times I just forgo the background all in all 
that's why I guess this one turned out so nice for me since it looked a lot more um, composed. It had, a, it, a, it had better composition than the pieces I've done before it. And as you can see, I actually did spend a lot of time into the lights because I didn't want it to overpower the shadows far too much, which it kind of did, but I could fix that if I do that again. But I really put a lot of effort into this one, even though I didn't really have any emotional connection to Vague or anything. Sometimes they're just days when your drawings turn out way better than usual. <laughs> this is one of them. skimped out on the background. <laughs> Actually, I wanted him to be sitting on this wooden um, flooring, but screw that. <laughs> I just imagined that, or I just made it out to be that everything was dark. Maybe. I believe at this point I was already panicking a bit. It's just like scribble everything and So I'm adding some color sparklies. We are nearing the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, uh, comment, uh, like, subscribe, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt, and see you around.